<laughs> as soon as it gets cold enough for ice to thicken and stay solid, ice anglers will be dropping a line. They might have to wait a while, though, yeah. with those temps there. They had a chance to gear up this weekend, though, at an ice fishing expo in St. Paul. Bufu Yang spoke with vendors who shared their advice on how to stay safe on the ice. Anglers have been waiting for months to get out on the ice, and this weekend thousands are doing just that by coming to the St. Paul Ice Fishing and Winter Sports Show. This was their largest show yet in the 30 years they've been around. There were more than 190 exhibits featuring more than 50 new products among the array of rods and reels, tackle, accessories, and more. The show began Friday and ended today at 4 p.m. at the River Center in St. Paul. Clam Outdoors has been part of the show since day one. 30 years ago. They specialize in ice fishing equipment and gear. Matt Johnson with Clam says people are already ice fishing up north. And even here in the Twin Cities, we're seeing some ice, but he says we're not quite there yet. And you always want to be safe, noting that ice can always be inconsistent. And what I always tell people is you never adventure on early ice alone. You go with a buddy. You practice the proper precautions, like using a chisel to check the ice to make sure it's safe a flotation suit, have a pair of ice picks to throw a rope. But the biggest thing is just use a little bit of common sense. If you're looking at the edge of the ice and you're like, I don't think I should go out there, you probably shouldn't go out there. Johnson says interest in ice fishing spiked during the pandemic. And while it did drop a little bit, he says it's still higher than pre-pandemic levels. In St. Paul, Pafoyang, 5 Eyewitness News.